Hello programmers! This is a video about using a scroll rectangle in Unity. I'm going to start by just creating a 3D project. I set my project name to scroll test. 2D would work just as well for this example. Then I'll hit create project and I'm going to pause the video while it starts up. All right, from within the empty sample scene, I'm going to go ahead and add a UI element that's a panel element. And by doing this, it'll automatically create a canvas to put that panel in. And this panel is going to be the visible part of what's when you're scrolling, this will be what you see. So I'm going to just call it visible part of scroll. That's a pretty long descriptive name but I'm trying to do teaching with the video. And then from here, I want to right click here and make a child of this um, panel. And it's gonna be just an empty object actually would be fine. So it doesn't have to be a UI component empty object. I'm gonna call this, this is the contents. So this is what will have everything I want, but there'll be so much we'll need to scroll to be able to show it. Um, so from here, I'll just put some placeholder text. So I'll do a child of this, a UI text. And we could just say, you know, hello or whatever we want the text to be. Now, let me make this look good on the screen. Okay, so when I had it pause, I went over to file build settings and I selected iOS because I am trying to build something that would look good on an iPhone. And then we can see this in iOS. When we look over in the scene, um, we can tell that the what we've got as the the panel and the contents are not the right size at all so i want the panel to be pretty much most of the iphone um for for my uh, purposes right now and the contents should include everything that i want to be able to scroll through so i'm going to adjust the sizes on these so all I did is, um, is scroll a bit to see the full view of what the phone looks like. And my actually, my panel looks okay. Um, it's pretty much just going around the, bat, the border of my phone size. But then the contents is so small that I can't even resize it. It's only 100 by 100. Um, as I type in new values here, it starts to become visible. And I say, oh, okay, there it is. And now I can drag those little blue corners so my contents i actually want something that's scrolling so i need to make this more than what you can actually see on the screen at the same time and then this little text here i'm going to clone that so i ended up making it text size 50 just so it should, would show up better and um, i just said hello i'm going to copy and paste that so i have another one that i can put I'll say hello too, maybe. And then I'll clone that one too. Um, copy and paste, put that somewhere down here. Hello three. So just some placeholder text, just to prove that when I play, right now I'm not going to be able to scroll. I haven't added a scroll rectangle, and so I only get to see hello and hello too. And as try as I might, I cannot scroll yet. So we just have a couple more steps to be able to scroll and see the extra content. But it's really important when I'm helping um, students, I just helped someone this afternoon who did not have the size set correctly on this object. So if it's not so big that you would need to scroll, you're not going to be able to see the scrolling. Um, but let's go back to the panel that we put. And this is going to be the part that's visible when you're scrolling. And I want to add a new component that is a scrolling rect. So scroll rect. And the content for this is going to be that object that I created that had contents, that has all the text inside of it. And there's a couple choices here. Do you want to scroll horizontal, horizontally or vertically? I just want to scroll vertically. So I'm going to get rid of the check mark here. And then I want to show you the difference between the elastic and the clamp. I'll run it now. And we are allowed to scroll and see hello three. Um, I don't love that it, the, the elastic look. I, I'm, I'm going to switch it to clamped and make sure that I can't see anything past the boundary of, of what I have 
information on and I don't see a big difference here if I had more content you might see a difference but play around with that and see what you like but that is how you can quickly and easily create scrollable content inside of your app happy programming